On the build show today, we're talking metal roofing. That's right, this is one of my favorite roofs. And in fact, metal is what I've put on more houses than not over my 16 years as a custom builder. But we're gonna bust some myths on today's build show. I think there's a few things about metal that are common misconceptions, including a few that I believe for many years. Today's build show all about metal roof myths, sponsored by the Metal Roofing Alliance. Let's get going. All right guys, myth number one, and honestly, this is one that I believe for many, many years, and this is that metal roofs are really only one particular style. And a lot of times when you say metal roof, there's a vision that comes into your head. And I think there's kind of two schools that this myth speaks to. Some people think of this when they think of metal roofs, this kind of corrugated metal, it's usually face screwed, it's some version of, a shed roof or maybe a lower cost house that has uh, exposed fasteners. Those fasteners have EPDM gaskets that need to be removed or replaced at some point. Now, this is, I think, a lot of people's vision of metal roof. Me, on the other hand, my version of metal roofs, being a, uh, a Texan, is this right here, Galvalume. And in fact, this is the metal roof that I've put a ton on. The first couple houses that I built in Austin, Texas, where I'm based, had Galvalume. Now, I didn't do exposed fastener. I like the concealed fastener much better. There's less uh, of a future maintenance issue or less to go wrong on these. But there's several different flavors on these from uh, this one right here where you're gonna put a seamer down there and it's actually gonna crimp over. That's more of what a standard standing seam metal roof would be called. But there's also a bunch of versions of this that are snap lock and that's what these panels on right here where one rib sticks up uh, and then the next one snaps over top and is actually screwed down to the deck. That's what I think of, and that's what I've used a lot of over the years. However, when it comes to metal roofing, there is a lot of options out there, and I wanna briefly touch on those right now. Several of the manufacturers that are involved with the Metal Roofing Alliance sent, sent me samples, um, but I wanna go back to this one first. This is where I, I kinda started to realize that metal can be more than just a standing seam, uh, flat panel type roof like I've used a lot of. I had a client named Jeff, uh, who's actually a big Build Show fan that I built a house for a few years ago. He was doing a French country style house and said, Matt, I really like metal for all the reasons that you've talked about over the years. Efficiency, durability, longevity, hail resistance. But I've got a French country style house. That standard metal roof style that you've used over the years doesn't fit for me. Check this out. He found this from a company called Edco, and there's actually several manufacturers of this style I didn't realize. And this is meant to mimic a slate roof out of metal. I believe this is 28 gauge, and I've seen some others that are 29 gauge, so a thick gauge metal uh, that is kind of painted in a way that is uh, kind of mimics the slate quality that you're gonna see on a true slate roof but without the weight, without the structural issues, uh, and fully recyclable, that same multiple decade durability that you're gonna find on an, another metal roof. The other crazy thing about this is Jeff's plan from his architect had a rolled uh, kind of eave on there where the pitch changed in a rolled fashion. And that was a really fun detail to build but my roofer said, look, if we use this metal shingle, we can actually roll that shingle and bend that shingle into the shape of the roof. And the result turned out fabulous. I, I think that the roof on Jeff's house, absolutely gorgeous, turned out beautiful. And I don't think that we would have been able to achieve that really with any other roof style had it not been a metal shingle. Now, the one thing I do wanna point out though is when you start looking at some of these metal shingles, uh, there's some that mimic slate, uh, from other manufacturers besides even uh, Edco. And there's a bunch that also mimic uh, wood roofs of some variety. And if you, look up the, if you look at these up close, they kind of look fake, to be honest. I don't like looking at them like this. This desktop that, uh, that we're looking at these roof samples is not a good way <laughs> to look at a roof uh, that is some type of stamped metal because in my estimation, they don't look great here. However, if you pull the catalogs out from any one of these manufacturers and look at a finished roof from the street, 
doggone, they look good. I mean, here's, here's one, for instance, out of this catalog. And I'm sure there's a million others on various websites from these manufacturers. If you look at that from the street, that is a great looking roof. Now, I don't necessarily think, oh, that's a, you know, a wood roof right away. Uh, but I think your mind goes, oh, that's probably a wood roof. But in fact, no, that's metal. And if it were my house, I'd actually get away from these patterns that, that look like wood. And I'd probably do a solid body or one of these colors that are less variegated. I actually kind of like these solid body colors. Of course, that's totally an aesthetic choice. But now we've got the fire benefits. We've got, uh, you know, class A fire ratings, hail resistance, easily recyclable, lightweight. We've got all these benefits without putting those on. And the last thing I want to mention before I move on from this myth is there's a bunch of options also if you want to mimic even, frankly, asphalt shingles or a clay tile roof. Uh, and here's just one from this manufacturer. And check out those images. I mean, this is an absolutely gorgeous roof. Okay, myth number two, metal won't perform as well in extreme conditions. And this one I have some direct knowledge on. My very first house I built in Austin, Texas as a custom builder under my, my own banner, I put uh, a metal roof on and only about a year later, that customer called me and said, hey Matt, you know that massive hailstorm we had that everyone's replacing their shingle roof in my neighborhood? you can't even see any damage on my roof. I put a 24 gauge uh, standing seam metal roof, kind of like this one on, and it had no issues whatsoever from hail that was somewhere between golf ball size and shy of a baseball size, just giant hail. And that client from then on called his house the SS Reisinger. And that for me was huge. The fact that that client had lived in houses that everybody uh, had to replace the roof, including him in the past, but this new house that he built with me had no issues after a hailstorm. That's huge. The other thing I wanna mention though too is that depending on how you install it, you can install a metal roof to withstand some crazy wind as well. In fact, up to 140 mile an hour. And if you saw my previous video that I made with the guys over at the Fortified Roofing Program, They've got some specific requirements on how to fasten your roof so that you can meet their program. And now your metal roof, it can really withstand some crazy weather. So this is a total myth. Do not believe that extreme weather myth. Okay, myth number three, my house will be more likely to be struck by lightning if I have a metal roof. This one, I, I understand that, right? You're, you, you wouldn't wanna hold a lightning rod above your head in a storm. But in fact, the numbers don't bear this. You are in fact no more likely to get hit by lightning with a metal roof than with any other type of roof. This one simply is not true. But what the benefit of metal is, if there were an issue, if your house were struck by lightning, if there was wildfire issues, almost everything you're seeing on the table here has a class A fire rating. And in fact, your insurance company very likely might give you, depending on where your house is located, of course, uh, an insurance benefit, a lower cost insurance because you have this class A fire resistant roof. And insurance companies also might give you uh, a lower rate because of how durable metal is and how likely it's gonna be to withstand a really extreme storm. So that's the case at my house with my metal roof. Okay, myth number four, metal roofs are noisy. I hear this a lot from people. Aren't I gonna hear that tick tack, clank, clank noise when the raindrops are hitting the metal roof. Now that's certainly possible, but in reality, after 16 years of putting on metal roofs on my houses and living with a metal roof the last couple of years, I finally put a, uh, a metal roof on my house. Check out that roof video that I made with Sheffield on my personal house a few years ago. And I put a metal roof on my brand new house under construction now. In living with that house, you never knew if it was raining outside. It was totally quiet. Now I had an insulation layer between me and that roof above. I don't know if that had anything to do with that, but at my, my new house under construction, I've not slept there yet, but I've certainly been in the house during storms. And even on the quietest, you do not hear a thing. So I think this is really a myth. I don't believe you're gonna hear any noise from the metal roof compared to any other roofing material. Okay, number five, aren't metal roofs considerably more expensive than other materials? This one is a yes and a no. Let's think about this for a minute. If you compare this to, let's say, a wood roof or a clay tile roof or a 
uh, concrete tile roof, definitely going to be uh, a cost savings typically in metal than some of those other roof styles. If you're comparing this to asphalt shingles, more expensive, typically. But what you're not factoring in when you think of just the cost that it, that it takes to put on that roof is all those other things that I mentioned, like hail resistance uh, or even just longevity in the elements. You know, in Texas, a metal roof is extremely long lasting. And in my experience, asphalt shingle roofs never live up to the numbers that the manufacturers purport for how long they're gonna last on your roof. So it's very common to see asphalt shingles replaced every 15 years. And if you're thinking this metal roof is a lot more expensive, but yet it has maybe let's say 50 years of durability, think about those numbers adding up if you're replacing that asphalt shingle roof every 15 years, or maybe even sooner if you have some damage to your roof because of a hailstorm uh, or other issues. So in the end, I think that that number is, uh, uh, is hard to really pin down. And yes, you might pay a little bit more up front, but in my estimation, totally worth it. And long term, I think a metal roof is much less expensive total cost of ownership compared to the other options out there. Number six, won't a metal roof be too shiny? Now this is an interesting one. I, I hear that a lot, usually from neighbors of mine where I'm building a house and they find out what style roof I'm putting on and they say, I, you know, I'm worried about being blinded by your roof. In reality, I've never had that complaint after the roof was put on, but metal roofs come in a variety of options. And, and you've seen that a lot of these colors on the table here are dark colors, but there's also these lighter colors. What you wanna look into though, is the solar reflective index of your particular color. Now, if you're in Canada, this may not be as big a deal, or Minnesota, uh, you're not as worried about reflecting uh, that heat off your roof. But if you're in the South, you wanna reflect as much of that off. So for instance, even at my house, and in fact, I made a whole video about this, about my black metal roof that I put up my house in Austin, Texas. Believe it or not, even that black paint has pigments in it that are able to reflect some of the sun. It has a, a solar reflective index. So depending on what you do, you're gonna actually be able to have a very efficient house and there's gonna vary that solar reflective index. So in the end, is it gonna be shiny? In my estimation, no, but you want a little bit of reflectivity depending on where you are. So check that out and be thoughtful about that. Okay, and our last myth, won't it be difficult to install solar panels later on my metal roof this is totally not true. Over the years, I've put a lot of solar arrays on my metal roofs, and oftentimes, those have been something that we've planned for, but we haven't installed at the finish or at the completion date of the house. We've come back a year later, so the client can have a chance to check their bills out and figure out how much solar they're gonna need to get to a net zero house. There's a company called S5 that makes a beautiful clamp that actually clamps on that ridge so that there's zero penetrations for the solar array. And the other beauty of that is if you ever need to take those solar panels off, you know, let's say their useful life is 25 years, you could take them off without any damage to the roof and put a new solar array on. On the other hand, if you have an asphalt shingle roof, that hailstorm comes through, you gotta replace your roof, well guess what? You also need to have an electrician or a solar company come and pull those panels and pay them to pull them get the roof replaced, and then put them back on. And every location where it's mounted to the roof, you've got some kind of a boot or a collar that could be a leak potential or could be a maintenance issue for you. So compare it to other roofing styles, metal is the perfect roof if you're thinking about going solar. Guys, lots of good information here. Hopefully you learned something. I'm a huge fan of metal, and these guys came to me because I've made so many metal roof videos before, but I, I thought this was really helpful kind of running through some of these top myths. Comment below if I missed something. I'm curious, is there another myth that we missed? And if you want more information on this topic or if you wanna check out a guide to metal roofing, the guys at the Metal Roof Alliance have some fantastic information on their website, all their member companies, so you can find out who all these products are and the options that it might be for metal roofs in your area. If you're not currently a subscriber, guys, hit that subscribe button below. We've got new content here every Tuesday and every Friday. Follow me on Twitter or Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show.